Ty, Jay here. Well, yesterday there was a gun show in Hickory, so I went to the gun show and unsurprisingly, I bought some of the gun show. Um, this is a Glock 42. Actually, this is a plastic box, but there's Glock 42s inside. Here it is in its full glory. Glock 42. In 380. Let me do a little tabletop real quick. It's a 6 plus 1 single stack blowback or semi blowback. I think somebody said. I, I don't know. But uh, 380. Uh, it's made by Glock. It is the Glock 42 or G42. Um, I'm going to do a tabletop that I'm going to append to this voice annotation to show you compared to a lot of the compacts and subcompacts and micro pistols I have. My normal everyday carry is a 32 ACP Keltec P32, which is like this big and weighs like nothing because it's all plastic just about. This one is a uh, polymer lower, um, melanite or whatever they call it, coated uh, stainless steel upper. It is, like I said, 6 plus 1. It feels, operates, shoots as far as I can tell from here. Just like a big size block, it's just smaller. Uh, it even comes apart the same way. Same capture Gen 4 spring. Um, let's see. I think the reset buttons move way forward on this. I don't know why. Somebody else said to, uh, because this is a semi blowback, it had to be there. I, I, I don't know. It's for the trigger reset. To be honest, I do to new. Now, unlike a lot of Glocks, you got to be careful with the disconnector on this one because it sticks out. Like on the SIGs, the small SIGs, you have to make sure you fold it under when you, you move the slide back. And I, I found that to be true with this one. Um, I know I've said it before, I don't like Glocks, but I own a lot of them. Um, one of the Glocks I didn't like was the Glock 36, a single stack 45 ACP. And that's because as you grabbed it, the swell here really just poked the crap out of the back of my hand. It had a bit, and there was since these are single stacks, you can't switch the uh, back straps out. Um, so it, it was uncomfortable to shoot. It tended to want to, it tended to want to do this in my hand as it walked out of my palm. Um, I haven't shot this yet, but I don't see that being a problem. This is a smaller grip, and I can get a full grip on it. Uh, Pinkies, uh, it's, it's grippable, but I might want to get me a little the finger extensions for this uh, that go on the bottom of the magazine. Um, I like it. I mean, it literally feels like a baby infant, not a baby Glock, because this is the 26s and 27s. I had a 26. It was okay, but I got rid of it as soon as I got my uh, XD subcompact. But uh, this one, it feels like a baby baby Glock, an infant Glock. I mean, it, it, it looks, it feels like a Glock, but it's, you know, a lot smaller. Uh, these serrations on the side, you know, they're, they're pretty, uh, I compared it. Somebody said they were smaller than what's on the standard pistols, and it is. I compared it, and these are like half the, 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 the uh, thickness as far as the depth. So they're really slick, but since this is a 380, even though this is brand new and pretty stiff, uh, you can run this with your hand. Uh, well, I tell you what, they've worked on this uh, slide release because a lot of people said at first they were hitting it with their thumb, and the gun wouldn't reset after last round. It would, it would just the slide would go forward and not stay open. Um, so they've reworked that a little bit. I've heard. Anyway. Uh, I haven't shot it. I will be making some videos of me shooting it. Uh, right now I've got some frangibles loaded in the, in the magazine. Some DRTs, Dynamic Response Technologies, but it actually stands for Dead Right There Technology, uh, that I carry. They're like the Horny Critical Defense, which I've got some of those also. Um, the gun's not hot. I just put the mag in. I'm going to put it up anyway. But I, And then I've got this, uh, who makes this? Sigma? Is it Sigma or is that the what it fits? CEcase.com and it's suede on the outside, uh, and this is a uh, tuckable holster. 
so you, you would carry it, you know, tucked inside. So, I mean, this and this holster is like 15 bucks. It's beautiful. It's really stitched and made well. And I might get online and buy me some more of these because, I mean, this is this is nice for 15 bucks. Um, this is one of the best holsters I bought. Anyway, and I've got Galcos and everything else. Uh, so there it is. There's the Glock 42. I know, another freaking Glock, Jay. I know. Um, I didn't like the Glock 36, but I'm sort of impressed with this single stack. Uh, this Feels better than the Glock 36. It's the Glock 42. Yes, it's 380. I got a feeling a 9 millimeter is not far off. Uh, you know, towards the end of the year, Christmas. Um, I got a feeling there's going to be a Glock 9. It, it, if not in this size, then not much bigger. Uh, so anyway, I'm going to launch into my uh, tabletop where I compare it to a bunch of guns that I pulled out of my safe, um, and then. That'll be it, and I'll, I'll probably, I don't think I'll do a closing, I'll just do the tabletop and do all that. Alright, so this is Jay, I'm going to cut to the tabletop, cut to the tabletop. Hi, I brought a few of my uh, compacts and subcompacts out to compare for the, uh, the Glock uh, 380, the Glock 42 380 I just bought. Alright, first of all, on this table, I have 380, 9mm. 40 and 45. Yes, they're all sizes are on here. This is the 380 Glock. Let's compare it to the 380 Sig. This is the Sig 238. Um, it's a lot like the, you know, the Colt Mustang and the Pocket Pony and all those. The little short 380. Now this one's full metal. Lower and uh, upper receivers are metal compared to the polymer on the Glock. Uh, let's see, size wise. Sig is, uh, you know, three quarters of an inch shorter. Um, if you take the extended mag out of the Sig and put the flat bottom mag in there, they're the same grip height. Okay, and I think it's the really the beaver tail on the Sig that sticks out a little bit farther. I think it would actually, if you just compared like slide to slide. I mean, this thing's like an inch and a quarter shorter. Uh, and this is a uh, seven shot 380 also, seven plus one. But, you know, it's, it's at a higher price point. It comes with the built-in tritium sights. And, you know, like I said, it's all metal. And, uh, you know, it's got some features on it. Uh, if the gun is cocked and the safety's on, you can still cycle the slide to get, you know, rounds out, safe the weapon, even though the gun's on safe. I kind of like that. That's pretty good. But uh, so as far as the 380, the SIG 380, and not to mention, you know, the Ruger LCPs and the Keltec P3ATs and the P380s and all that, they'll actually even beat it more because, as you know, I carry the Keltec 32 ACP, which is a micro pistol. Uh, so compared to that 380, it's bigger, weighs less, but bigger. So let's move up to something that's uh, comparable, again, in power. And that would be like uh, my 637 Smith & Wesson revolver. Now, this normally comes with a grip on it about that big, okay? I put this extended grip on here because I can shoot this weapon one-handed. Nothing. I can shoot this weapon one-handed with this grip. I, I get a good purchase. It's a full, so I, I consider this part of the gun because I, I wouldn't have this gun without that. So let's do a size comparison. If we go barrel to hammer, it comes up there. Of course, it's going to be shorter that way. It's a shorter barrel. And if you consider that it had the standard grips on it, I think it would be actually a little shorter grip-wise, but not much. And that's a five-shot 38. And you can run plus P's in that, some really, really stingy, stingy stuff. Um, okay, staying in that same 9mm, 380, uh, 38 size, then we move up to what I used to be at my uh, all-time uh, carry, and that's my XD9 subcompact, which is the double stack predecessor to the XDS9 and XDS45, which are single stacks. This is a double stack 9mm, uh, I think it's a 3.2, 3.3, something like that, barrel, same as on the Glock. 
Uh, however, this one, because it's double shack stacked in a flat bottom mag is a 12 shot in nine millimeter. Or, and this is the cool thing I like about these, you slap in the 16 um, round extended mag and you create a full size grip on your subcompact weapon. Um, great at the range or you can carry it that way but it's it's great to have that option to go from you know a compact to a full size and i had a glock 26 and when i got this i got rid of it because on this one i can get my pinky around the front of the magazine on the glock 26 i couldn't i did i didn't like the, the the glock 26 had that beretta beer can't shoot in a beer can feel to me whereas this one the springfield i, I really like this i don't talk about this enough uh, because it's a really good gun and I shot this and carried this for a while. It's a really good gun All right, let's talk about a sing another single stack now. This is my uh, kel PF9 Yeah, and it is a single stack Seven shot nine millimeter nine millimeter Okay, and if you compare it in size guess what? Length is about the same. Grip is the same. Thickness is about the same. I mean, this one's a little thicker, but it's got a rounded profile top on it instead of a square. So it sort of looks thinner, even though it's, I'm sure it is. Uh, and that's a seven plus one gun. Well, so now I've showed you some subcompacts, okay? There's a couple other ones I want to show that I've carried before also. This is the Taurus PT-145. It's the first version they came out with. Now this one is a 10-shot 45. That's right, a 10-shot 45. And if we put it up against it, well, guess what? Lengthwise, maybe a hair bigger. Um, Grip-wise, maybe a hair bigger. See? Maybe a hair bigger. Uh, thickness, of course, because it's a double stack 45, is, is big. But you're not talking much uh, bigger for carrying 10 shots of 45 ACP. And I've shot, I've had this for like 15 years. This is my first carry gun I ever had. I, I've shot thousands of rounds through it. And, uh, um, it you know, 45. It's a big, big hole looking at you there. And then two that I could, I'm, I'm not really going to compare it to, but I, I want you to see the size on it. And these are compacts. And that's the uh, HK USP Compact um, in 40 caliber. Again, compacts are much bigger than subcompacts. As you can, I mean, it's just a much bigger weapon. Let's, let's be serious. You know. But, the, you know, these, these are compacts. And I shoot this really good, too, by the way. I like the HK. I don't carry it, though. It's too expensive. And then this is my normal, what I would call my full-size carry, even though for a big manly man, it would be a mid-size carry. But this is my big full-size carry. This is a Glock 23C. This is what I always have in my car or with me at work. And it's a 14-shot 40. Um, you know, that, that it's, it's, again, it's, come on, it's full mid-size or whatever. It's, it's significantly bigger than the 380. But you can look at it, and you can look and see the styling cues. I mean, they stay true to the Glock design, you know, with just the little as, uh, aesthetic bits. Uh, this is definitely a Glock Gen 4 uh, mag release right there with the big square, you know, compared to the smaller, shorter, stubby one on the Gen 3s. Um, it's, the serrations are not as deep, and I've seen people complain about that. Um, but if you look at the side profile over here, you know, they, it, it looks like somebody took this and shrunk it. And, you know, the breakdown is the same. So, there's the, the Glock compared to several compact, subcompacts that I have uh, just as a tabletop view. Uh, the only one I don't have is, is my P32, my 32 ACP, and that's in, in my holster in, in my bedroom. So... There's the Glock 42. Hi. Well, that concludes my little uh, Glock 42, uh, my new purchase uh, comparison and talk over talking points until I can get out to the range and start shooting it. 
But I just want to compare it to my normal concealed carry. Uh, you know, this 357 SIG I carry around. <laughs> no. Look. I mean, it's like King Kong? Me. King Kong? Me. This is Jay. Uh, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe. I say this all the time. I don't care if you do or not. I don't do this for subscribers and I don't do this for a fan base. I do this for the guys that have subscribed to me and say, hey man, go shoot that little thing over there. Or uh, my friends, I've got a lot of friends who are subscribed to me that are real friends here in the real world, not YouTube world. And they're always like, dude, dude, dude I know you got that. So, and they even, some of them even go shooting with me. Uh, so anyway, this is Jay signing off. And remember, keep shooting or keep reloading as you've seen my other videos, but keep shooting.